Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode five, f -f 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 five of the Cow Empire. We are in full blown making money again, so you guys know how it works. We gotta sell some milk. Got great news. I had to, well, good news and kind of bad news, but good news is um, I figured out the bale wrapper as you can see these silage bales are 22,000 liters i got two of them off there but i lost a lot by testing um and also we are uh i had to buy some food for the cows which is kind of bad news um and it cost us about four grand so let's move this out like this so I can get out. I gotta shut my thing. We're gonna grab some milk. We're gonna sell some milk. And then we're gonna go over and mow the other field for some hay. We're gonna try to start building up. And for now, if I have to, as long as I'm making money still from the uh, milk sales on top of it, uh, we've got. Uh, I still got a little bit. I didn't fill their straw all the way. But uh, we had 71,000 liters of milk. But look at my slurry. 392,000. It's almost full. And I slurried this whole field over here. So <laughs> it only took me 30,000. Uh, that 4D modding uh, slurry spreader is the bomb. Not going to lie. It is awesome. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic as usual. <laughs> I love it. Look at this money. Look at this crap. This is awesome. Look at that. We let we were down all the way down to three thousand dollars, and we just sold forty-six thousand dollars worth of milk. And I got to sell ten thousand, eleven thousand liters more. Uh, and it cost me about four grand for the total mixed rations. I'm gonna lie. It's uh pretty amazing how you can actually just buy the food for them you don't even have to do the work it's kind of neat okay so then we can pay back loan remember we have to keep 33,000 so at the end of the day the 33,000 came over and I bought food and still had enough to what we pay uh, 40,000 liters or $40,000 back in um, uh, the loan but the good uh, well it's kind of okay news. Uh, I had to monkey around and buy some new equipment, so I had to switch balers. This is the only one that works. Uh, uh, you got to use 154 size bales, which is 22,000 liters, and you can wrap them. And it'll make any size hay one you want. I can go all the way up to 184 if I want. But uh, 154 gives you 22,000. That's crazy. Okay, so let's go to our loan while we're on camera here. And we are going to go down and repay and keep us at 33 so let's repay 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 and there we go so that's what was another 20,000 liters uh we can go yeah we'll leave that for the loan payment because what happened was i was so low that after buying all this equipment and stuff i was underneath the amount so i was negative something dollars because i did was under the loan amount uh, and so I had to sell the grass bales that I made to make the money back, which I didn't want to do, but I couldn't wrap them. So I figured out how to do it. So we got 42,000 liters of um, silage. It will, we will have. And remember, that holds 50,000. So if I can put two bales at 22 and 22, that's pretty much a load. That's about 84,000 liters of total mixed ration. And when my feed is full of 325,000 it lasts me three full months so i think we're gonna start catching up all right <clears throat> uh anyways uh how's your guys's farms going today how's things rocking and rolling and grooving and moving everybody should be close to harvesting time how many years you've been playing on your map now this is gonna give me a little bit under uh growth stage because you can see it's still three three and it still says forage um, oh, I have to downgrade my mower. Mower? Not mower. <laughs> my mower because I needed to buy that. That silage wrapper was $54,000. So 
I had to do what I had to do. So now we're back down to this one. This mower. Which was okay. But she mows pretty quick. She'll mow 13, 14 miles an hour. Doesn't give you the biggest wind rows, but worst case scenario, we can do what we can do. But we can go around corners with it. We'll do what we can do. Like I said, as long as we're paying at least twenty to thirty thousand dollars back a day with the loan, at least we're making progress. And like I said, we may or may not achieve this in the ten years. We may not do it. Uh, so I was hoping to have it done by five. Um, but if we can't do it, we can't do it. Then at the end of five years or ten years, if we can't do it, then we move on to the next map. We take our loan with us, and we owe some money. And yes, everyone, I could mow over there, but I'm choosing not to uh, because of the simple fact that that is really hilly. I'd have to terraform that. Uh, welcome, 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 all the new family members. Ah, oh, man, you guys are awesome. Great comments this week. Or yesterday's video it's great and then i got uh tomorrow is the last episode of multiplayer friday on our server our dedicated server we are still going to have multiplayer friday we're just going to have it on uh fury saved game instead of a dedicated server it's just getting too hard to keep them to keep paying on it uh because everybody's so busy and, and we so we just try to we're just going to do it under Fury Save Game. And that way people can feel free to join when they want. Right to the edge. Raise this up. And now we flip around and go the other way. So in the long run, <clears throat> this may be a smaller mower. Mo I, keep, I did it again. Mower. But it moves faster. So in reality, you're actually covering more ground. And she goes around the corner without missing any. So, I eventually, well, the other thing is, this is what, uh, this is the swather pack, the Pottinger swather mower, so it leaves it in swaths, otherwise, I would have hooked a front mower on it, and just laid it out, and then came windrow it, but once again, that's another expense, so if you think about it, trying to get as much loan paid, you want to live a minimalistic life as you possibly can. Which is exactly what we're doing. We're, uh, whoops. He just went crazy. I forgot using my controller. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're trying to go as minimalistic as we can. And remember, we're going to have some baby cows here. We're six or seven months into it. They're going to have baby cows soon. But they don't give milk until 18 months. So what we're going to do, I researched it a little bit. And the most profitable way to do it is to have their babies and take the babies and sell them after a few days or a few months or whatever when they make enough like when they start making like a thousand dollars a piece or whatever uh then sell them all off and buy new cows for this pen or the other pen we'll try to fill one pen first and that way you're you're always dealing with 18 month cows um the pens only hold 320,000 liters uh, right now, at 320,000 liters with 500 cows, like I explained earlier, it gives me three full months. So, 1,000 cows would give me two months. Uh, that's just how numbers work. <laughs> um, so, if I had 2,000 cows, that 320,000 would only last me a month. One month, and I'd have to fill them 320,000. But, if there's 1,000 here and 1,000 down there... I'm still going to get two months worth. So, but I want to fill one pen first. And I'm telling you, at 71,000 liters of milk a day for just 500 cows, imagine what 1,000 cows is. It's going to be, what is that, 142,000 for just one pen, then 142,000 for this pen. So that's $200,000 every month, or 200,000 liters and you guys just know for 70,000 liters, we made 50 grand. Well, 47,000, 46,000, whatever it was, because we were at 3,000 when we started. So if I can sell quadruple that and make $200,000 a day, and I own all my equipment now, I don't have to buy another single piece of equipment. The only thing I'll have to buy is food, 
uh, for them when we need it, which is an expense, okay? Um, but, uh, and I have to buy seeds. I don't, do, will not ever have to buy fertilizer again. I mean, I've got 329,000 liters of slurry, and all they do is fertilize this grass field and that grass field up there. I eventually will buy that field and make it grass, but right now my main focus is to make money to pay this loan back as quickly as we can. So that's what we're focused on. That's why the last episode said payment time. So officially we have paid. Uh, where are we here? Money, 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 money. Okay, eight ninety five, nine ninety five, and five is a hundred and five thousand dollars of loan payment back already that we've made a payment back to. Legitimate. And I may play off camera, guys, but I've always been honest with you guys. I am not playing illegitimately. I am playing realistic the way we we're playing on camera is the same way I play. Uh, and so I don't monkey with the money too much. I kind of try to do that with you guys on camera so you can actually follow along with me. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, keeping you guys posted, 50,000 liters of total mixed ration cost me $1,500. So, I just did it. That's why I knew it was kind of fresh in my head. So, that's why I kind of remembered it. So, uh, $3,000 will get me $100,000. $6,000 will get me $200,000. And 300,000 liters will get me it's $9,000. So, if even if our pens were completely empty, to pretty much fill them up is $9,000. And you make 71,000 liters of milk every day. So, you spend 9000 in total mixed ration, um, and you're making 46000 So it's like, you tell me, it's like you can sit there and buy everything. And then it costs me $800 for 50,000 liters of straw. So, I mean, realistically, okay, so you add another maybe five, maybe 3000 on top of that. Because they're pens... The pen uh, doesn't hold that much. See, it only holds 100, 190, I think it is, or 200,000, so it's not even that much. So you probably, all right, so realistically, 15 grand a day if we were to buy it ourselves to fill for if they were empty, but they're not. They're usually half full. So 15,000, and we make $46,000 just right now off 500 cows. So you still are making a $40,000 a day profit with buying everything. And the only reason I'm doing that is that, yes, it's a little bit slower, but it's giving me a chance to catch up on some of the their feed. Like right now, as soon as this field's done today and tetted and bailed, we'll have enough to make, well, 22 and 22. That's 44,000 liters again that we can start pit sticking in our silo and start building up. So there will come a time when those days happen where I'll be able to pay the fifty, sixty thousand dollars. And remember, we're not in any rush either. So we want to make sure we're doing it legitimately. And if we hit the ten-year mark, because I can, I'm I'm pretty confident. I'm I'm really pretty confident confident that within that ten-year mark, that ten million dollars is caught up, going to be caught up. Uh, we started August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Six months, and we've paid a hundred and in, what was it, five thousand? We said. So, in six more months, we'll have two hundred thousand dollars gone. Now, in the grand scheme of things, we owe ten million. That's not a lot, but wait, wait until the cows are born and we sell those, and we'll make a pretty penny. So, if they each have a baby, and we sell them. That's 500 babies at 1,000. That's 500 grand. Now, granted, they take however long, seven months to have a baby, eight months, nine months, however long it is. Um, but that's if we can get them to $1,000 a piece, then uh, that's 500 grand right there. That's, that's a good chunk coming off our loan payment right away. Then we can sell our wheat think about it which we're not going to get a lot of maybe five or ten thousand dollars but you know 
And each time we make a payment, the loan payment goes down, so I got to keep less and less. So eventually we'll be able to pay, you know, 50, 60,000 or 100,000 or whatever we end up every day back to the loan or every month. It's not every day, it's every month. So then you're making $1.2 million payments back in one year. So there will come a time when we explode. You guys will see that. Like from here on out, I guarantee you, you guys will start seeing a lot more loan payment come off because I own all the equipment now. I don't have to put, buy any more equipment. I don't have to play with it. The only thing I may change is if we get too much, uh, I may go to a loading wagon and I may go to a silage pit um, so that I can just put silage in there by bulk um, and then make make I just make everything hay and then just pick it all up instead of bailing it and put it into a silage bunker. So that would be the next evolution right now. Uh, for my brother Gutterball and I, he's asked me to do bales. But when I get to the point, and we all know it, that's why I was saying the other day, Russell is right. When we get to the point where we're having to, we can't physically make enough bales to keep up, that's when we'll start using the loading wagon. I'll put a silage bunker down, back up where it belongs. I'll sell those sheds up there, all of them, and I'll make enough to buy the silage bunker. I'll sell the baler, I'll sell the bale wrapper, I'll sell everything, and then all I have to do is go through and mow and Ted, because hay can go in a bunker, and then we just make a bunch of silage, and then we put a bunch of hay into the silo, so that will be the next evolution, that's what we're going to work up to next, um, I'm also going to have to get more grass fields, right now the two is working, because I can keep up. But eventually, I'm going to have to get a third and fourth. And I'm going to have to get a bigger mower. Because taking six hours to mow is not going to cut it. Not when we got to start making food by bulk. So that's where we're going to go. That's where we're going to keep up. We're going to keep focused. But I will always keep you guys in the loop. I will always keep you guys planned on what we've got working towards. So you guys know what we're working towards. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Man, I tell you, I was on Raznik's live stream today. Man, that guy's amazing. I've got so many cool friends that I've met uh, in this game that it's just great. But you guys know now why uh, so many people use, like, uh, hay drying mod or they'll use a silage fermenter because it gets to the point where it's like, all you're doing is literally feeding your cows. You can't get anything done. So at that point in time, we're going to have to utilize course play as much as we can because that doesn't cost us a dime. Uh, so we're going to have to, even if we role play it off that the wife's out here helping me, doesn't matter. Somebody that's free so that doesn't cost us any money so that I can start doing two projects at once. So like I can bail or I could be petting right now and the course play could be mowing. go we only got a couple more passes and then we will be done mowing at least for this episode then i will ted it and that will probably wrap us up for this episode and then i will bail off camera uh which is generally what's been happening um but thank you guys for the input i did go back and watch sealy p's episode on that uh bail variable bail size and the mod author did comment um, in the comments saying that it would only work under certain conditions and that's how I learned. Plus I went back and I watched Sealy P's video and I came back on and put stop time and monkeyed around a little bit. I lost whew, I'd say I usually get about 98 to 100,000 liters off each one of these fields. Um, I lost and I only ended up with 22,000 so I lost a lot. I lost like 80,000 liters of grass testing. But I've also made a promise to myself that going forward, I'm going to come on a map. If I get a new mod and I haven't tried it yet, I'm going to hit stop time. I'm going to come and test it. Because if you hit stop time and you don't save it, you just exit the game without saving. And you can come back and you're right at the same time. But it gives me a chance to kind of not be set up for failure. If it fails, it'll do it off camera. Now, I know many of, you, many of you said today, oh, Fury, don't change anything, but 
you know, I took a couple of those comments to heart, and it really kind of hit me hard. Um, because, and the reason I say that is because, whoops, I don't want to go that way. Um, I've been probably, you won't find too many other honest YouTubers other than myself that, you know, you guys know more about me than my own family. So it, it kind of hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. You know, I know that we all have idiosyncrasies, but the cool thing is I, I am looking at the positive. Uh, the person that was commenting on that video was, has been with me for a long time. So they're starting to recognize my idiosyncrasies, which is good. That's good. Um, but it, it was a little frustrating. It was a little daunting. Yeah, this 3.5 meter mower is just a little small. But I couldn't afford... Oh, <laughs> I fired. I couldn't afford anything else. I was watching my favorite show last night. Whose line is it anyways? Oh, uh, they were doing this... Uh, it's not even... I don't even think it's on, on, on anymore. So I was watching reruns of it. And Wayne... It's Wayne... I don't know. I think it's Brady. Is that his last name? Wayne Brady is on it. And then uh, a couple of guys that have played on a bunch of Drew Carey stuff. And then Drew Carey's the host. Many of you know what that show is. But last night it was, they were doing the, they bring up audience members. <laughs> they were doing uh, songs about their name. And the one guy's name was Howard. And Wayne Brady was like um, trying to spell it. And he was putting an R in there. So it was Howard. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, that's the little silly things that gets Fury going, laughing. Now, I'm hoping also this windrower, once again, I did not test it. So, if it's hopefully for us, it works. But it's a hi Hey Bob. And I think it's 4D modding, to be honest with you. Who made it? I'm not quite sure. I think that's where I got it from. Uh, it's supposed to ted the windrows and leave them in the windrows. So I'm hoping and crossing my fingers as I itch my eye um, that it works. Because it's been a, a bunch of episodes in a row where I've had issues. <laughs> but if you guys notice, I never have issues mowing. I never have issues harvesting. I never have issues bailing. I had ish The only issues I have is issues where I'm trying to get a mod to work and it doesn't. It's like, uh... Thanks. I also, if I could technically, because the only thing the Merlot is going to be used for now is to stack bales. So technically, I could stack bales um, with a skid steer because you only can go two or three high anyway. I think you can go three high with those and still reach it. So I could downgrade the Merlot, but also with the bale loader I have, it will unload the bales in a big stack for me. So technically, I don't need the Merlot at all. I could downgrade that. That'll give us $100,000 back that we could add to the loan. Because what I have is I have this one, which we all know and love, but this one's for the mod. It'll pick up the big bales. So I could just drop that like the other ones and just drop it in a big pile underneath the sheds. But I like the ability to stack too if I have to. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go put this away. And attempt our little hay bob. <laughs> We're gonna get a decent, should get a decent yield. And I didn't, I didn't fertilize it last time, so it's only fifty percent fertilized. But she'll have slurry on it soon. It cost me, or didn't cost me. It took me thirty thousand five hundred liters, so thirty thirty five, thirty thousand five hundred liters of slurry to do that one cow pen over here. So that means that. It'll take me 30,500 to do this cow pen. So 60,000 liters to get you three months. That's well worth it. Let's get a 
away from the edge there a little bit. Bring him back. There we go. There we go. Now I gotta remember where I put that hay bob because I know I bought it. Pretty sure I did. Right there. <laughs> Fury's gonna have to go through and open up all his sheds. There she is. Okay. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> he said Howard because he was doing it in the in the theme of uh, YMCA. Harvard. Howard. <laughs> so this is from 4D modding. This uh, little hey Bob. Does it tell you when you buy it? Who does it? I think it's 4D modding where I got it from. I do believe it is. Um, this is supposed to do the windrows and keep it in windrows. So we'll see. We're going to do this. My fingers are crossed as I use my controller. Both of them literally are... Uh, whoops, whoops, went by this. I also want to see our wheat field. What stage we're on now. All right, we're on growth stage two out of seven. So we got five more months. So March, April, May, June... July, and that puts it at stage seven. So July, in the beginning of July, we'll be able to harvest that, both fields. And my other two fields are ready to go. So as soon as we harvest, because what I want to do is plant the same. Now, this was weird here. You see how it says 100%? I spread manure on this field, and this strip didn't do it, but it still says 100. It just didn't take it. Uh, I want to get done harvesting those two and then seed, 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 and seed. That way, next year, we quadruple our level of straw. That's what I want. So this thing, I'm hoping. Please, 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 please work. <laughs> I'm really hoping it works and keeps it in the like it's supposed to dry them and keep them in a nice tight windrow but we're gonna I'm hoping it just doesn't spread see how I stepped out to shut this because I'm procrastinating it I'm really hoping this is working I've never seen a tether work like this but if it works then it solves the problem And she works. In fact, she makes even tighter wind rows. Sweet. Oh, finally. Oh, finally we got a mod to work. So technically, I could get the triple mowers and keep this in a wind row. And this makes nice tight wind rows. Sweet. I am so happy. Oh, finally. As the rock would say, finally, we got a mod that absolutely works the way it's supposed to. Usually, we get mods that are converted over from 22 or from 19, um, and they just kind of work, but they don't work. You got to fiddle with them. Uh, I didn't want to post this comment. Yeah, whatever. I'll look at that later. See what I'm talking about, everyone? I get DMs. I get direct messages on Steam. I get direct messages. I get direct emails. I get direct everything that people, they send me mods. They, they talk to me. They know me personally. So they ask me questions outside of YouTube. That I don't mind because, as you saw what that person just did, was they were respectful enough and they didn't comment something that they didn't want other people to be, to be seen or maybe possibly offend people. If it's personally to me, I don't have a problem with that. It's when we have other people that we might be able to... Uh, oops, oops, oops. Man, this thing works absolutely epic. 
absolutely epic. And it tightens the windrow or even up. So my hat's off to 4D modding for this hay bob. My hat's off. Off, off, off. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Finally, got a mod that actually works. The way it should. Now this one should be able to just go right in here. It's kind of like a windrower tether. It's like the best of both worlds. Oh, finally, Fury is absolutely ecstatic. You guys don't have to hear me making those crazy weird noises. <laughs> See, now we'll go right around with the second windrow, and it tightens them up. So, like I said, we'll eventually get a triple mower, and we'll have a big triple 10 meter whatever mower, and it makes wind rowers, and this thing will tighten up the wind rows. So we don't ever have to Ted and wind row. This thing does both. And it, it's kind of almost old iron. Not quite. And the reason why I say that is technically old iron um, doesn't, wouldn't have a PTO. Oh, man. I should have lifted it. Nope. <laughs> Don't have to. Because I just went over it and it just tightened them right up. This is one of my favorite mods. Because guess what? It's simple. It's easy. But it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. There's nothing worse, guys and gals, that when you sit, when you get one that says, oh, hay dryer. Um, CC had one on... Uh, the multiplayer dedicated server he was it was supposed to be a hay dryer so but yet you got to put grass in it then you got to put this in it you got to put this in it then there's a mod that comes out that's just a hay dryer that literally <clears throat> puts grass in it and it converts it basically does what it says it's supposed to do that's the whole idea of mods in my book so we're gonna zip right here that way that we don't lose that in grass Oh, because it it's the, the thing. It's like we've all experienced it. We all know what it's like to even get on a map, and all of a sudden you can't terraform. You know, it's funny because I say that because two maps in a row for multiplayer, both of them big maps, um, wouldn't let us terraform. So I don't know what's going on with that. Just uh, You could terraform to a point, but then there was... It leaves these little bumps and stuff that... It's crazy. This thing makes a super tight windrow. Awesome. That's what I'm going to do here. Is... Lift it. So that way we don't waste, waste turn. Look at that. It's putting it exactly where I put it. Look at that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And one more time, yes. I'm getting a decent episode this time where we're actually accomplishing something. I'm sure, I'm sure, I will guarantee it actually, that all of you had had similar issues. All of you. Mine, unfortunately, is open book and for the whole world to see when I have issues. Um, like, if I'm playing on my single-player server, or my single-player game, and something like that happens, nobody sees it. It's just like, eh. You know? Mine goes out to YouTube, so the whole world can see it. So, <laughs> it's just, it's a little added, like, frustration level or anger level, shall we say. When things go wrong. Now, the cool thing is, this is going to work ecstatically when we get our triple mower and we switch to the bunker silos. Because then, guess what? I just mowed the 10.2 meter wide one instead of the 3 meter. Uh, and then I ted it right in the spot that it's at and tighten up the windrows. And away we go. And then I just got to go through and pick it up with a loading wagon and put it into the bunker silo. And then I put one load in a bunker silo, one load in the silo. So then we're we're done. We're making stuff efficiently. Right now I can't afford that. Plus, 
I promised my brother Gutterball that I would um, do some bales. I've gotten to the point where farm sim bale physics and everything are redonkulous. So I generally don't do bales on my own Let's Plays. Uh, multiplayers, I don't do bales because it's just stacking and picking up and they're not realistic. The physics, anyways. We've come a long ways, though, since 15, though, even, or 13. Look at the, I mean, it looks as close to realistic. The tractors react the way they're supposed to. For the most part. Actually, just connected that. <sighs> As I yawn, it's getting a little bit late. Uh, it's a better part of probably twelve thirty by now. I had to take some time to. I was. I got caught up watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Looked down and realized, oh, no, I have to record. This may or may not go out tomorrow. I'm trying to. I'm really, really, really working hard, everyone, to try to get it um, to where I release videos frequently enough to keep you guys interested. But give a little bit of pause that you're... There's nothing worse than when you're into a YouTuber... And the only reason I do this is first-hand experience. You're, you're into a YouTuber really bad. You're into his story mode. You're into watching him. You really like what he's doing. And he posts so much every day or every, all the time that, you know, you have a regular life. So when you come on, next thing you know, you're on episode seven. So now you got to binge watch it. You got to sit there like, you know, the X-Files or whatever and binge watch it nonstop to catch up. And then by the time you catch up, he's dropped six more videos. So getting back to what I was saying earlier, I'm really working hard on there's a fine line of continuing to put out new content, new videos, new new months, new day. You know what I mean? You guys follow along. You know how it works. Um, and But yet still giving you the new videos that keeps the new people because there are everybody, there are people in the world, just like Fury, where I'm not busy and I'm retired and they just can sit and watch videos. I do it all day long. Like, uh, the guys message me and they'll say, they look on Steam and it'll always say online because I'm always either on YouTube or uploading a video or on, most of the time, I'm on YouTube. That's the truth. But there's other times when I'm... Uh, Googling stuff and looking stuff up and searching mods, you know. It's pretty fun. This I like. Look, it connects it. Look at that. You can't beat this mod. Love it, love it, love it. I would recommend this mod. Uh, I think think they allow links to be posted um i will shoot a message to them and make sure that i can post their links on my channel um because i'm a big one whoops hmm. oh i see there we go I don't know what happened there, but it kind of, like, uh, stopped. <laughs> but that was me. I might have hit the wrong button. You never know. Never know. Never know. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to work on. It's just the, the it's a fine line um, to, to get new content out for the people who want to see it and for those of you who are working or... You know, doing errands or anything else. We all have real lives. My real life isn't stuck on YouTube. You know, just something simple as jumping in the pool takes me two hours. Because <laughs> I'm old and I have to get used to the water and blah, 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 blah. So if I say to the wife I'm going swimming, two hours is gone. 
Or if I run to the store to get groceries, there's two hours gone. So you never get that back. So I understand. So there's a fine line. I want to keep people uh, invested in the series. But I also want to keep, uh, let you guys catch up. Because I've done it. I was watching uh, Virtual Farmer. I, he's one of my biggest fans. I, or not my fans, but I'm one of his biggest fans. Daggerwind, Scroft, uh, uh, Farm Some Guy, DJ Goham, all those guys. And Frithgar. I like Frithgar too. He's one of my favorites. But uh, uh, Virtual Farmer tends to drop a video every day. Pretty close. And I went and had to do something. I don't remember what it was. Maybe I, it was back when I was helping that farmer. Um, and I come back and he's like on nine episodes later. And I left off on episode two. And plus... Lately, YouTube doesn't let the notifications go through a lot of times. So if you guys are hitting the little notification bell and you're thinking, oh, I just get notified. And it, the only reason I say that, and I, I'm not sure, so I can't guarantee it. Uh, I, my buddy, who has another, has a YouTube channel as well. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know him in real life. I've only met him on YouTube. Uh, PC Outcast, he does Skyrim videos. And I was not getting... He was dropping them literally seven days a week. And I was not getting his notifications that his video dropped. So I messaged him and I'm like, uh, did you know that that was happening? And he said, oh yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, how many of you guys don't even know that I've dropped a new video? Um, because it hasn't. the notification thing is kind of broken. I don't know. Like I said, and I, I'm not quite sure, so I don't want to open up my mouth and insert my foot, if you know what I mean. Well, actually, you know what? I'll just go like this. I'll keep this right. So it'll make me a nice little windrow right here. Love it, because here's the thing. Now this is a two-in-one uh, equipment. If I mowed and kept it on wide swathing or wide dropping, I could windrow and Ted at the same time with this little hay bob. Now, granted, it's only two point something. Well, it's 1.9 meters wide. But you can, if you guys are watching me do it real time, you're watching me windrow. It's taking those windrows and putting them into nicer windrows. I'll bet you I could windrow these two rows together in fact when we're done let's let's test that theory and see if we can we'll take one of them down at the end and I bet you I can push it over and get one win row out of it Good down here. We'll, we'll test this theory right now. Just on this one. Because these are close together. Alright, so let me get about halfway. Drop this down. Yep, moved it over, see? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You come wide here to pick it up, and then you go short here. Whoops. <laughs> and now we'll back up, and we'll move her over a little bit more. Look, 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 everyone. I just took two and made it one. <laughs> so now that's a seven meter one. 
You just got to be careful. You got to move them together first. See? We just did it. Just, I guarantee I could keep moving them over and over and over. Am I going to do that? No. I would have had to do that with dropping. So we can always upgrade slowly. We can put a front mower on it and it'll swath one and it'll uh, lay it down and then I just windrow it with this thing and Ted. That's so cool that that just did that. Oh, love it when a plan comes together. Now, here's a question. I got a question for you guys. You guys always know that I'm always trying to ask you guys questions and pick your brains just as much as me. So, we all know that many of us uh, don't like a don't like factories as much right I mean there's there's some people out there that refuse to use them at all I don't use them too much uh, the biggest things I catch up myself using is like fermenters uh, hay dryers things like that is it a factory technically but so the question I have for you guys now if you go on the premise of what I just talked about where it's like a fermenting style you put grass hat grass hay or chaff in and it turns into silage right wouldn't that be the same as a silage bunker a silage bunker would technically be a um a factory because you put hay or hay grass or chaff in it and you get silage out hmm so let me know in the comments if that's something that i'm right on or i'm wrong on Because it is technically, it does the same thing. My fermenting silo that I use literally just takes grass, hay, or chaff and puts it into silage. So if I put a bunker down, grass, hay, or chaff can go in there and make silage. So technically, and I'm, I'm going to stick my neck out on the line here. I know one person that's going to answer it, and that's Wisconsin Farmer. He will, he will answer it, and he'll let me know. You guys got to be quick. Got to be quick on the draw here. Got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Um, because he will get on there and he'll answer quick. So, <laughs> if you want to beat Wisconsin, you got to be up. You got to get the worm. You got to be early. Now, does this take a little bit longer? Yeah, it's a long process at only 1.9 meters wide. But look what you're accomplishing. Nice tight windrows. You can combine them. Windrower and tether in once. And like I said, I will contact 4D Modding myself. I'll send them an email and see if they'll let me post this. If they give me permission, I'll post it on down in the, the show notes, down in the discussion. And uh, you guys will be able to use this mod yourself. I just, I'm a big proponent, especially in the modding community, since I mod. Uh, I think it's very, very, very important to respect um, the modders. So, you guys will always know, if anybody who's watched my channel any length of time, you guys know that that's my big creed, my big, big thing. I want to make sure that the modders get protected, that they get the credit that's deserved. 95% of mods, me included, when I've done mods, I don't care. I release them. I'm making it for the public. I don't care about that. But there's some people that aren't. They're making it for a project that they're working on or something happens. And, you know, here comes Fury just going, hey, look at this cool mod. It's so pretty. And I grab the mod, and then next thing you know, it's to those wonky sites. Somebody grabs it. Somebody changes it. Now the whole mod is changed completely. So, I'm a big one on getting permission from the original mod author. If they give me permission, I will absolutely put it away and give, give it to you guys because you will like this. This little machine works really good. That's two for two today. Um, so, 
The other thing I want somebody to do, for all of you who know modding out there, I need a mod created. In real life, you can wrap Halage into Silage. Okay? So, if I make, like, for real life, I'm making this as hay field, a grass field. When it dries out and turns into hay, just like it is, you can bale it up. I don't know how efficient that is, because I've never done it that way, but you can. The reason why I say that is because it just, it, I don't know, it just the way it is, it just kind of works. That's why I was kind of like, eh. The way it was working right now. But somebody needs to make a mod that turns hay. You can you can wrap hay bales. Because it is realistic. It's, it's called haylage. And that's what you do. You make it up. It's a little bit dry. You don't put it in a barn as hay bales. A lot of people don't. They'll just uh, s uh, silage it up and rot it. Because all you're doing to making silage is basically rotting the grass. You're rotting it. So, there's Vic playing tonight. He's on. I get notifications I haven't turned on. So, I don't care if I'm recording or not. When I see, I get a notification from somebody, you should just give them a shout out. About 50 minutes left, everyone. Well, in game. Man, I love this. Windrower slash 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 tender tether. And it is awesome. You guys been checking out the farm con videos? Uh Farm Sim Guy, DJ Goham. Uh they there's a bunch of YouTubers, uh uh Farmer Cop. They went over and all to Germany and they're at Farm Con. I absolutely think that they're representing our our video game rather well they're spreading the proper word about how nice the game is ah oh, it was great someday that when I become rich and famous which I'm already too old for that um, I want to change the world by getting the modders and the uh, Sorry, as I yawn. The video game content creators out there the credit they deserve. I will always give other YouTube content creators the shout outs before I do myself. Because that's just the way I am. That's who I am. <laughs> so how's the weather in everybody's area uh up here in upstate new york um you know around the triple cities area it's it was cooler this morning but then it went really super hot by 11 o'clock because i was out working in my um flower garden by 11 o'clock i had to go inside i'm like i can't this is ridiculous um it's crazy we have a nice field of of hay of hay hey <laughs> uh, i enjoy making videos for you guys i really do hopefully someday the channel will decide that our family members are too big for their britches and will expand and what I mean by that is I hope there comes a point when we have so many family members that they're just going to expand. You know? Everybody better bring their own pants. Is that's all I'm saying. Better wear pants and shoes. <laughs> you don't have to wear socks if you don't want to. Um, the old saying goes, no shirt, no shoes, no service. You got to have pants on here. <laughs> bring your pants. And bring your shoes. <laughs> uh, I was watching some of the comedians out there. And they were making fun of that very joke. Um, where they were saying, you know, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Yeah, try to enforce that in California when 
everybody's out swimming in the ocean every day and uh, Florida and other warmer states where they have access to the ocean people aren't they're not playing the game so our managers at uh, when we had our farm we had eventually we had a farm manager which was dad <laughs> I had to throw that in there um, but technically that's what he was he was a farm manager and we would always say, we always pick on him. We'd always say, well, our managers don't do it that way. <laughs> Dad would get so mad, and just be like, shut up. <laughs> uh, I find myself now, I mean, my dad passed away in 2007. So I find myself now using his words that he used on us. I'm using them on my kids, my grandkids, and things. And it's like, oh. Uh, one of his favorites was, I'm going to hit you so hard, you're going to have an accident. <laughs> uh, my kids look at me and go, yeah, right, Dad. You got to put farm sim down first. I said, oh, no, no, no. I can I use a controller. I can smack you with one hand. My boys are so much bigger than me. I will never tell them that, but I ain't fighting them. Plus, since both of them were professional fighters, <laughs> no, 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 no. Fury's not sticking his mouth, foot in his mouth on that one. So my kids watch these videos. So that's all I need is one of them to come over and really thrash Dad. <laughs> uh, well, I can't make a video tomorrow. Why? Because I can't talk. My mouth is <laughs> uh, But I find myself using the stupid little sayings. Like, <laughs> I was, uh, the wife wanted to replace the sink in the kitchen. So we decided that we went to the local lumber yard and we got the new sink, new countertop, everything, right? I've got all the pipes across uh, and hooked up. And I got one side of the water hooked up in the other one. I said, I went out to the garage to get a tool and I said to both my boys who happened to be over, I said, please don't put water don't run the water in the kitchen sink till dad. I still got to hook it up and stuff yet. Um, so please don't do it. And my one son, being definitely my kid, says, What? Uh, we can't put water in the sink? Where else do you want us to put it? Oh, I was, I was, I was like, you know, with grandpa, um, my dad, um, there. I wonder, does this fold? No, this is it. So it worked. But anyways, I said, your grandfather would have taken a hold of you for that comment. Go ahead, put water down the sink and let you know how dad treats it. How my dad treated would treat you. You'd have got beat five ways to Sunday. But my kids being my kids, they just told a joke. <laughs> All right, so as we head back down to the farm, guess what? We're getting ready to wrap up episode five, everyone. So we mowed, we tetted, and the, and they worked. We sold our milk. We paid back $20,000 on the loan. We've got $105,000 in the loan paid off already. Uh, so we're starting. We're starting. And actually, reality is we've only been paying the loan for what? One month now? So it is a good sign. It's going to get better and better and better. And as many cows as we're going to have on this farm... It's going to be making money hand over fist just from milk. And then we got to harvest and um, things like that. All right. So I'm going to say my goodbyes right now. And then we can end it up. So please, please, please look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. And hit the little notification ding, ding bell. So you get notified when Fury drops a video. Because I'm all over the place. That's the truth. Uh, be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you are watching this. And we didn't check to see if we were recording, so let's hope, let's hope, let's hope that we, we recorded the whole thing. Uh, if we did, you'll see the video. If we didn't, <laughs> I'll be back here tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is Multiplayer Friday. I'm going to do uh, a couple of guys can't make it, so I'm going to do a flyover of their farms. But I'm sure that Gutterball and I will be there, and we'll go over each, each people's farm. And then that'll be it for the dedicated server. That's it. I'll, I'll 
move on to a saved game. We'll decide what map we want to go on. Uh, it will continue on Friday, uh, but it'll just be from my saved game instead of a dedicated server. Uh, I'm not going to get too into the ins and outs of it because that's just personal business. Um, but it wasn't anything that happened. wasn't anything that wrong. It was just it's becoming too hard to keep it up. That's all. Uh, and then Saturday is Gutterball and I's roleplay series, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And on that note, Fear Machine is out. Love, love, love each and every one of you, and I will catch you tomorrow on Multiplayer Friday. Bye, y'all.